how the towns get got like every day. And a gangster's a gangster in every way. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... Our special segment on TikTok's Dark Revelations will keep you in O, as we're diving into a series of compelling videos that cast a long shadow over the reputation of Sean Combs, P. Diddy. Now let's dive deep into the whirlpool of celebrity drama with a dash of detective work. Today, we're unpacking a video that's buzzing on TikTok for all the wrong reasons. It's the clip featuring none other than the music mogul Sean Combs, P. Diddy, and a very young Justin Bieber that's got everyone talking, and not in a good way. Let's break it down. Picture this, we're backstage at a big time industry event a few years back. The stores are out, the cameras are flashing, and young Bieber, just 16, is in the mix. Enter Diddy, the seasoned music tycoon known for shaping mega hits and superstars. In the clip, Bieber is chatting about hitting the big one six, a milestone in any teen's life. Right? But things get weird when Diddy chimes in. His body language? A bit too close for comfort. His comments? Let's just say they toe the line of too familiar. It's the kind of interaction that makes you want to say, Back up, man. Fast forward to the day, and this clip is all over TikTok staring up a storm. Users are dissecting every second, pointing out how off it feels to see a music giant act this way with a teenager. The consensus? This isn't just awkward, it's a textbook case of what not to do in terms of power dynamics. This isn't just about one uncomfortable moment, it's about the bigger picture, how young stars are often maneuvered by industry bigwigs who should know better. Diddy in his influential role really should have kept the professional boundaries clear, especially in such a public setting. The power of platforms like TikTok shines here. As fans and critics alike turn into instant investigators, they're not just watching, they're commenting, sharing, and demanding better protection for young stars against industry pressures. It's a digital uprising calling for change in how we treat young talent in the limelight. What this clip really does is throw fuel on an ongoing debate about celebrity culture and accountability. It's a call to action, urging us to rethink how we handle fame and power in entertainment. As this video makes its round and stir debates, it's clear that we need to keep our eyes wide open. We need to advocate for a safer, more respectful environment where young talents like Bieber can thrive without being put in questionable situations. So what do you think about the Diddy Bieber video? Is it a major no no or are people reading too much into it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below because this discussion is just heating up. Uh, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. He yeah. signed the Usher. Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album, I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We going crazy. Now, we're pitching into some pretty dramatic footage from a recent raid at Diddy's house. Federal agents swarmed into Diddy's lavish properties in LA and Miami, and the footage that surfaced is nothing short of jaw-dropping. Cameras captured agents swarming in, and the details? They hint that Diddy might have been prepping for a quick getaway. Amidst the chaos, there are glimpses of packed bags and frantic activity, suggesting that someone was not planning on sticking around. It's like something out of a thriller. Was Diddy trying to flee? The speculation is all over TikTok, with users playing detective and piercing together the clues. This isn't just about a celebrity raid, it's a peek into the serious nature of the allegations against city. If he was trying to escape, what does that say about the charges he's facing? What's your take on this raid and the escape theory? Drop your comments below and let's dissect together. Notice he licked his lips when he said once you're 16. I mean, I'm 15, you can ride in the passenger seat, I got my permit. Now that, not yet. 16. No, slow down, slow down, Jesus. Okay. Let's slow down, okay? One step at a time. But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours. Sixteen. 
We're zeroing in on the whirlwind of accusations swirling around Diddy's notorious house parties. The tales from these events are finally coming into the spotlight, and they're anything but glamorous. The chatter has reached a fever pitch as numerous influencers and former associates of Diddy have started to voice their concerns and experiences. Their stories paint a picture of parties that may have crossed the line from lavish to questionable, with allegations that hint at inappropriate behavior and misconduct. It's not just the social Social media stars talking. People who were once part of Diddy's inner circle are coming forward, sharing details that suggest a pattern of behavior unbecoming of the entertainment mogul. These accounts are adding fuel to the growing fire of scrutiny surrounding his interactions at these exclusive gatherings. This surge of testimonies is shedding light on what might have been hidden behind the closed doors and Diddy's grand events. As more people come forward, the narrative about his private life is shifting, prompting a re-evaluation of his personal conduct and the environment he fostered at his famed parties. Everybody kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly. Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike on more than one occasion, they, my man, listen here, man. Parties, but I was more like just trying to just vibe, like just see where I look, did you look back me? on where I became. Did and, you yeah. miss me though? For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. Man, but I'm talking about with. for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. With me. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, TikTok videos that are stirring up a significant public outcry over Diddy's controversial actions. As these videos spread, the calls for accountability and justice are growing louder. The power of social media is on full display as these clips make the rounds. Viewers aren't just passive observers, they're vocal participants amplifying the call for Diddy to be held accountable. The consensus is clear, people want action, and they want it now. These videos are pivotal in transforming scattered concerns into a united front for accountability. They highlight how deeply people are affected and how strongly they feel about the need for a fair response to the allegations. As this situation continues to evolve, these voices and social media will play a crucial role in shaping the outcome. Keep watching as we track the story, bringing you updates and insights into how public pressure can influence the quest for justice. In Diddy Crib in, in LA, this was uh this was this was the beginning of, of 2020. You know what I mean? Uh Diddy had he had put everybody else out the crib, like the, the influx of people he had put them out. But he had he had uh he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time man and was really you know what I mean like putting his arm around me right so he had put majority of the people out but he allowed me to stay in there mm -hmm. me and you know maybe about maybe about fifteen others you know right. Jay Z and Beyonce being you know two of the other of the other other fifteen people in the room so that that just put into perspective of the type of company I was in right at the moment you know. These TikTok videos not only challenged Diddy's personal image, but also spark a broader conversation about celebrity behavior and accountability in today's world. As we've seen today, TikTok has become a powerful platform for uncovering and discussing the realities behind celebrity facades. What we've uncovered about P. Diddy is just the tip of the iceberg. Stay tuned for more investigations into what happens behind the scenes in the world of the rich and famous. Don't forget to like, share, and follow for more deep dives. Goodbye.